Okay, what we're watching here is a time-lapse video of a drawing of a figure that I did for my brush hour class through the Adobe live streams I do every week. And in this instance, what I'm doing is drawing with a pencil that was mentioned uh, here up front, the Tilty Pencil variant from the Winter 2022 brush update. If you have Photoshop uh, CC, then you can grab that brush. Um, if you have Fresco, you can also grab all the brushes, but I will say that this particular pencil brush does not work in Fresco because it is a very unique and special category of mixer brush in Photoshop called an erodible tip. Um, this brush responds very much like a natural uh, media pencil would in that you can use tilt to shade with it and so on. Um, what I wanted to mention about the drawing I'm doing here is this is an invented figure. And when inventing figures, I think it's important to follow a kind of formula that works for you. Everybody's different. Um, I teach life drawing uh, at a university here in town, and I like my students to try and start out with a sort of uh, armature for the figure. You'll notice that the armature I started with was very, very simple. It just indicated a few points of articulation like elbows and knees, and ankles, and um, you'll notice that the torso was really just kind of a blocky shape that was divided more or less at the rib cage, uh, and then where the hips were. Um, it's uh, kind of a bean sort of a model. A lot of people are familiar with that concept, um, but nothing fancy. The main thing I wanted to do though was kind of have this through line of action from the head down through the feet and just establish that, as well as get those basic proportions down early. I think that's the way to go, so that everything kind of falls into place later on. Now this goes just as well for the head. You notice I had a center line, so I knew where to put my features on either side of that. I could dance across easily and align those. And I also had horizontal lines I drew for the basic thirds of the head and for the eye line. This really just helps me to quickly place things where they need to be. Um, you'll notice too that I am using this pencil for all kinds of different marks with hard edges and soft edges. And I'm doing this with both pressure and with the tilt of the pencil. And then occasionally I'm even smudging. You can see me doing that right there for the hair. I'm restating things now and then when I need to, like the placement of the ear and so on. A little bit of a uh, fix there to the jaw. I use an eraser in the Mega Pack drawing box called Natural Edge. And this works really well with pencil because it's not a hard edge eraser. Um, anyway, that's pretty much it. I wanted you to just see this process. I know it's uh, being done very rapidly, but I also know that most people uh, don't have that great an attention span anymore on uh, YouTube and with videos. I will do more long form videos for you though, I promise. I um, hope you enjoyed this. If you want to see more of this, please let me know in the comments. I'm always happy to post this kind of stuff. And, uh, and you can see here the finished drawing. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe for more digital art tips and tricks.